Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will discuss the difference between break, pass and continue in Python. So let's begin with break. So break statement dominates the current loop and control of the program flows to the sta next statement. So basically, whenever you encounter with the word break and inside a loop, it will come out of that loop. Okay, so as you can see this example, there is a list of uh, names uh, of fruits and uh, there's a for loop and if uh, and inside the for loop if i is equal to equal to apple uh, there's a break statement so it it has to come out of the loop so as you can see the output our output will be apple found and count will be four because every time it's going inside the loop count is increasing so uh, it starts with zero and then it becomes four when i remove the break statement the count will become seven why because because uh, it will print apple is equal to found but it will keep iterating it will go on to the next iteration as well because break statement is not there so count will become seven but if uh, break is there the output will be four why because after apple is encountered it will come out of the loop so it will count will not be, uh, be incremented so this is what break is now let's see what is continue so the continue statement instructs a loop to continue to the next iteration unlike a break statement a continue statement does not completely halt a loop you can use the continue statement in python to skip over a part of a loop when a condition is met so basically this is not like break this will go on to the next iteration well if i have the num a list of some numbers and i don't want those numbers which are divisible by 10 so what i have done here is i have iterating for loop for i in li if i modulo 10 equals to equals to 0 then what we are doing here is what we are using continue statement and print i so now if i run this code then we can see the output is 333 3, 3, 54 7 and 8 we don't have those numbers which are divisible by 10 so what we are doing here is instead of a break like a break statement we are not um, stopping the for loop but what we are doing is we are going to the next iteration and we are Keeping those parts. So if 10 is divided by 10 is divided by 10 or 20 is divided by 10, so we are skipping 20 and we are going to the next number which is 333 and then 54. Then again 80. If 80 is the model 80 modulo 10 equals to equals to 0, I'm skipping that number and going to the next number. And hence we are getting this output. So this is the use of continue statement. Now the third statement is pass statement. So pass is a null statement. The interpreter does not ignore pass statement but nothing happens and the statement results into no operation the pass statement is useful when you don't write the implementation of a function but you want to implement it in the future so this is the first first example like the the past are useful when you don't write the implementation of a function but you want to implement in the future if i want this function function one but i don't know what to write in that function then i'll just see your pass statement and i can run this code but instead of this if i don't write anything in the uh, function and i want to run the code then i'll get the error as expected and indented block and to remove this error we use this pass statement so this is the use of pass statement then the second example is again uh, for i in range 10 if i modulo 3 equals to equals to 0 i'm passing here the pass statement means i'm ignoring uh, but uh, nothing going to happen to the statement and it uh, results into no operation like uh, here nothing will happen and uh, state uh, loop will so simply goes to the next statement which is print i and now if i run this code we can see that as continuous statements there are no numbers which are divisible by three there are only numbers one two four five seven eight which are not divisible by three so this is how we can use pass statement here so these are the break pass and continuous statement in python 